back from the U.S. heading to Petach Tikva today. Those are words I don't say often. I'm meeting Shlomo Mervis from Intelligo this morning. After that, Stratic, Miriam Schwab, and Josh Lawrence. Miriam was giving me support by email, I think from 5 a.m. this morning, because the URL structure of my blog somehow mysteriously changed all my old links as in internal links in my blog, all dead. Good times. She was awesome. Stratic is awesome. I have my blog on Stratic, and I'm working with them as an advisor. Big fan. Anyway, after that, heading to meet the one and only Benny Shaviv from Fitness 22, who I've spoken about many times before. It was just, just a, I'm a huge fanboy. Anyway, all in all, it's going to be a great day in Petah Tikva, and hopefully grabbing lunch at Gems which is one of the coolest restaurants in the country. So, yeah, pretty happy about this day and uh, getting back into the swing of things. All right, here we go. to Petah Tikva at like 8.40 a.m. The city, I should say, has some special meaning to me because I worked here for many years at a company called Interactive, which I could say had a serious part in starting my career in marketing. The company was since acquired, really great company in the mobile ad tech space many years ago, but also, like I said, gems. Love gems. Anyway, going to meet Intelligo now, a bit early, so I'm gonna crash in the office and get some work done. But as I've said many times, big fan of Intelligo, big fan of Shlomo, big fan of the technology, big fan of the team, and super duper excited to be working with them as an advisor. I'll be there in a minute, hopefully get some work done before the meeting starts. Okay, so I just finished a ridiculously productive meeting here at Intelligo with Shlomo and Ari, the marketing guy. Well, Shlomo's the CEO, Mark, Ari's the marketing guy. And I jumped at the opportunity to interview who is, in my opinion, not in my opinion, it's pretty actually well known that one of the top tech guys in this country. I'm gonna say, no, I'm, I, no dude, dude, no denying it, man. You are one of the tech, I, I'm telling you, that's your name. I'm You're, of, it's true though, you have a reputation, you have a very good reputation, which I'm is not easy, by the way. All right, who are you? Uh, okay, so my name is Rans. I'm an Intelligo CTO, I've been- uh, Where do you work? I, I, work, I work in Intelligo Group, uh, I'm an Intelligo CTO. Yeah. I have about that? 12 years experience in, uh, in the high-tech industry as uh, leading um, different development teams. Before Intelligo, I had a startup company which was called Quando. It was a, a sophisticated mobile app to do uh, to enhance SMB business with customers. It was spinned off into weeks. Two years after it was founded, for that I've been leading the technology department in Conduit's toolbox. Yeah, I know this is not a big deal for you, but like you're talking about the hottest companies in Israel. Okay, I just gotta slow down. So Wix, I mean, no, I'm not in Wix. I know, I, I know. My, my guys are working in Wix. I know, home, so I know. But just so you understand, like I'm talking to these guys. Many of you have heard of Wix, but you know, Conduit, Conduit, like. One of the most interesting companies, they're not called Conduit anymore, they're called Como now, right? Yeah. Like right. One of the most interesting companies in this country, hands down, I have to say. I met them many, many, many years ago. Michael Eisenberg introduced me. I think he's one of the first investors. Yeah. He introduced me to the CEO. They're right. men. They ended up merging with the Perion, with, with Joseph Mandelbaum. Like, really, 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 really interesting company. Really interesting on many, many levels. But anyway, let's not focus on that because then we'll go on forever. <laughs> let's talk about Intelligo because... In my opinion, I'm, I guess I'm not objective because I'm an advisor here now, but I love the company before I was an advisor, so I am objective. In my opinion, one of the more interesting startups in this country. What is Intelligo? Hit me. Intelligo is actually uh, how we take a human analyst brain and, and transform it into an AI solution. What we do, we actually have a team of analysts which have heavy experience from the Shabbat and the 800,000 unit. And actually, to, together we have simplified the way of an analyst investigating a, a, a person using mainly open source intelligence data. And we built many mechanisms, part of them are NLP based, part of them are machine learning. You gotta, you gotta slow down, too smart for us, man. NLP, Sorry. natural language processing, in case you don't know. Yeah. And, I mean, we're talking to normal people here. Okay. Not one's as smart as you. So, we, we have okay. been, <laughs> Based on the, the analyst um, knowledge, we actually developed an, an AI system which simulates the natural behavior, but it can scale it up and it can enhance it. Enhance it. Wow, okay. We do it using a natural language processing mm -hmm. the, uh, the algorithms, very unique and very cool we have developed here. You're not objective. No, but, but, but I, I am. it's cool, no. I, know, I really think it's cool I because we, do, we did really cool things and as we go along we see the cool things open up and do amazing things, get amazing results. Let me just break it down. For, sorry for interrupting you, by the way. Please do. It's totally my ADD, forgive me. <laughs> so let, let me just maybe dissect this for you a little bit. Every single, and I, and I mean this quite literally, every single company out there, every single government out there, every single investor out there does background checks. Everyone needs to do background checks. 
And everyone do it manually. And everyone does it like it's 1981. Yeah. Right? It could take weeks and you get like a massive, you know, report like this. It takes weeks to even read. These guys, I mean these guys, he built a solution. Me, my guy. Okay, your team. Okay, fine. I know. You're a very humble guy. We're gonna have to work on that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, so your team built a solution, and I've seen it, and I haven't seen the new one yet, but I've seen the current one that basically runs a comprehensive, as comprehensive, if not more than what's out there today, in an hour. Even less. It can be 10 minutes that we are working on, on speeding it up. But we actually do what guys do for weeks. We do it in minutes. How? What do you, what, where, do, what, what do you, what databases do you crawl? How do you get that information? We, many, we have many premium uh, data sources. Mm -hmm. We get a lot, a lot of data, but we need, this, this is the hard part. Once we get the data to filter it and to sanitize it and to summarize it and actually bring it. You know, make it, uh, make display, it, display, display it beautifully. Stable. So I, 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 I want, again. Readable uh, and quick to understand. And we also do the, the ongoing. So what the current industry is, is lacking of is the ongoing feature because once you get the report, so you've got to uh, study. What happens if tomorrow? Some papers. Uh, but if tomorrow something just, happens. So it's dynamic. Yeah, we just run the system in, That's really on intervals. But I also want to say one more thing. This is maybe equally, if not more important than everything in terms of the technology, yeah. which is this. I've worked and I continue to work and I've met many, many, many companies in Israel that have unbelievable, truly unbelievable technologies. But where it fails, where it fails to scale is the product. The yeah. product is less beautiful, it's less polished, it's less user friendly, the user experience isn't great. What you built here is beautiful. Because we consumed with our customers before we built it. I love that. I mean, this should be on like 24, you know, the TV show 24. Yeah. Um, it looks like it's big. beautiful. Right. It's a beautiful, like the, the interface is, is actually, it look, like you, you don't and think it keeps of. It on enhancing it. Yeah, and on. you don't think of like background checks as something sexy. You just don't. Mm -hmm. But but I always say this, this is important. If you look at, sorry, someone's bothering me. If you look at all of the hot companies out there, all of them, they took something that was unsexy, transportation, hospitality, communication, and they made it sexy. Right. And that is what Intellico is doing to background check. We hope to, we, we try to reach sexy. No, you're doing it. We are sexy guys. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. It's really awesome to work with you. It's, and no, uh, no. No, man, listen, dude, keep kicking butt. You make my my life easy. You, thank you. No, I mean, listen, you're building thank an amazing you, thing. And uh, I think this, I always tell people when I talk about Intellico, I think, you know, listen, everybody believes their company's going to be big, but I can tell you as someone who's external, quote, I'm still external, but I'm an advisor. But to you're a an external weeks, advisor. Yeah, but a couple of weeks ago, I was just a friend of the company. Yeah. Right. But from the first second I heard of this company, which was years ago, and the first second I met with Shlomo, the CEO, and, and just yeah, when I met the team, I was like, there is something here that's unique and special. And I think it's, it, you know, I really do believe that, you know, with the technology you built, the product, the team, everything, there's a big future out of this company. And I'm honored to be part of it. We are honored to you being a part of it. Thanks, man, dude. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Get back to work. Thanks. That meeting was so good. I love Intelligo. Seriously, just a huge fan. Not objective, I know, but I do. Love what they're doing. And honestly, Shlomo, the CEO you've met in the past, such a rock star. Why is it that every time I record something for the vlog, my phone rings? Stupid notifications. The last minute cancellation. I was supposed to meet the Stratic guys, but Miriam wasn't feeling great. So, pop visit, spontaneous visit to Benny Shaviv at Fitness 22. I was gonna visit him, but now I have some time to hang with the guy. He's gonna be a whole lot less productive today. Then I'm gonna go to Gems. <laughs> bad news. The bad news is I just finished a meeting with Benny and he absolutely refused to go on camera. I tried, I promise. The good news is new hat. Benny hooked me up and the other piece of good news is I just got a call from Tabula. They are about to deliver a swag bag. I'm going to meet the delivery dude right now at Gems and I don't think I'm gonna have time to grab a bite there because I stayed with Benny way too long than he would have liked because he's a busy dude. But I told him and he, again, refused to accept that he is wise beyond his years. I learned so much from an hour with that guy. So I just didn't want to leave. But uh, anyway, now going to Gems to pick up my swag bag from Tabula. <laughs> The dude from Tabula just dropped off the goodie bag. It's a big goodie bag, and I could see the hat. Ooh, I love this hat. Tabula. That is a really nice hat. So my boy Adam Singolda is the uh, CEO of Tabula, and Ellie Ron, I love the guy, runs the, uh, I think his GM local, I think, or I'm not sure exactly what his title is. Let's see what else is in here, if I can get it out one-handed while I hold this camera. We got a towel here. All right, we got some Tabula, like a pencil case, which is full of stuff. I love Tabula socks. What? Oh man, love these things. Back of the iPhone or back of your smartphone holds cards and all that jazz. Another case, you gotta see what's in there. 
Oh my God, what the heck is in this envelope? Okay. Um, opening an envelope one-handed, not easy. Let's see what we got going on here. Holy smokes, what is in here? Whoa! That is a whole lot of stickers. All right, let's see if I can open up this pencil case and see what's in here. One-handed. And success. Oh, this is like a travel kit. I love it. All kinds of stuff for the plane and all that jazz. That toothbrush, toothpaste. So cool. Everything's branded Taboola. I freaking love it. Let's see what this is. Man, they, their swag game is the real deal. Oh, for your neck on the plane, for your eyes on the plane, Taboola. Holy smokes. And there's more, a lot more in here. Oh my lord. Honestly, I don't even know how they got this all in this bag. It's full of stuff. Tabula, love you guys. Eliran, Adam, the whole team, by the way. Big fan of the team. I'm uh, having lunch, I believe, with uh, Eliran on Tuesday, if I'm not mistaken, in Herzliya, so that should be fun. Generally speaking, if you're not familiar with Tabula, you know, when you see online, you might also like this article, content recommendations. That's kind of the, the foundation of Tabula, but they're, they've since become somewhat of a, a beast slash online empire, and their investor, is Jaime Perez, who I love from Pitango. Pitango is, I think, I think officially the largest Israeli VC. Jaime Perez, the son of Shimon Perez, is their investor, and he, I love how he promotes Tabula actively on Twitter and other platforms. Anyway, big fan of Tabula, huge fan of Adam and Eliran, and um, big fan of swag, so yeah, win. Love it, thanks dudes. What do you think? Can I pull it off? I dig it. Made it back home, have another meeting here locally, and then gonna call it a day. So, gonna turn off the camera now because this meeting's a bit sensitive and confidential. See you tomorrow.